that is my point there are many different types of laboratories okay so if there are many different types of laboratories and our session today is introduction to laboratory reports so these reports can come from different types of laboratories that's my point this report can come from different types of laboratories this could be a chemistry laboratory a physics laboratory a plant biology laboratory a food laboratory quality or a microbiology a pathology or it could be a medical laboratory so it could be any one of these right that's what i want you all to keep in your head right because because what lot what happens to a lot of students is when they enter this field they think ah this is just mlt or a lab baking kit la vedakarna lab report kiyo me illa idena that that lab report you get in mlt hmm no that's not what a lab report no that's not the only thing that a lab report is a lab report is far more broad in scope lab report is far more broad in scope okay right so what do you expect to see in a laboratory report the laboratory report ekum then what una hedena as we were discussing una hedena whatever the purpose is what is in the lab report usually there is a title and author again where who did the report what is the report about introduction could be there or not we don't know it depends on the report now uh, title and author should be there what type of report is it who is the author who released it the introduction and objectives may be sure name i don't think all reports have this materials and methods may be the method might be there results will definitely be there discussion depends on the report but most often there is a discussion at least to say whether the result is abnormal or normal or any other additional information most likely it will be there right and finally references you are un again unlikely to find references in all reports okay but these are the parts of a general lab report so whether this covers everything whether you are doing a titration and you have to do a lab report whether you are in a physics practical you are trying doing a experiment on frequency waves and frequency school and school and all the current day or whether it's an i mean somebody is doing a degree in physics they will have or engineering labs mechanical engineering labs i actually started out in engineering so i remember we did quite a lot of uh, um, engineering lab sessions and we had to write reports Some of them were like forty, fifty pages long, and uh, that's when I started to realize maybe engineering is not my thing. Even though I am good in maths, engineering is not my thing. Right. Uh, okay, so those are the general parts of a lab report. Now I will share this. Uh, there, there are two notes on this topic. I will share them with you, but I am not going to go through every slide. That's going to be boring for you guys. That's what you guys have to do. You guys have to study this. because finally i will be asking some questions because we are having a quiz ni so then i will be asking you guys questions okay what's happening here huh? what's happening there so you need to know okay so i will share this uh, uh, lecture notes with you guys so you can go through it right so uh, go for the traditional lab report This is the medical report. In this report, come. At that time, they think of this report. So, why would you order this report? First of all, what's the purpose? Hmm? What's the purpose of ordering this report? The purpose is 
why I showed you those two articles earlier. What is in these articles? Rise in fever case, viral infections, dengue. So let's actually read this. This is from 18th November. So basically yesterday. So what is in this? There's a rise in fever cases among children. Especially viral infections. As well as a growing number of dengue cases. But this is among children. From according to whom the consultant pediatrician at Lady Rich Hospital, Lady Larich, that's one of the leading child of children of the Prayer said. Speaking to Daily Mary, explained that virus symptoms, viral fever symptoms, including cough, cold, body aches, and occasional are commonly observed in affected children. Cough, cold, those are symptoms. Right? You guys remember when we went through the clinical disease diagnosis process, when the patient goes to the doctor, the patient, why would the patient go to the doctor? Isn't it? Because there is some issue, isn't it? They won't just go there. Do you and I, do you and I go to the doctor just because on anatomy, do doctor balando ni. But the doctor is a relative. Otherwise, would go to a hospital. Most of us would barely would like to go to a hospital. Isn't that the case? People would not go to hospital. That's the reality. They will go. Right after you've struggled for a long time, will they go? Right. So that's the reality. So if you are going, you already know there's something wrong with me. Hmm? If you go there, you know there's something already wrong with me. Okay? So you know what these are. So how do you know something is wrong? Because your body, but but what is disease? Disease. What's any record? You have to break it into two. Medical terminology. For you guys, this is hmm? this is led again. Make it any disease. Hmm? Led this is okay. If you break it down, we have the word this and we have the word is. Is means okay, maybe comfort, uh, normal conditions, normal environmental conditions. This, this means something abnormal or against. So when you combine the two words, the meaning you get is there is an abnormal situation. Sorry, your body is not working as it normally should. Your body is not working as it normally should. There is something wrong with your body. There is something wrong with your body. That's what it not, but that's what it means. So the word itself gives you an idea. There's something wrong with your body. So how do you know something is wrong with your body? You get these signs and symptoms, right? You get the signs and symptoms to tell that something is wrong with your body. Like in this case. Now, why did these children go to the hospital? Lamai ke na the, ammi ammi, I want to go to the hospital. Have you ever seen a child say that? Or you, have you said that? No, right? Nobody will run to the mother and say, oh, mommy, I want to go to the hospital. Would they? Huh? Would they? No, right? They wouldn't. So now the the... The fact that they are going tells you that there's seriously something wrong. Okay. So they have cough, cold. Why? They have a cough, casatina, cold, the body aches, vomiting. So because these signs and symptoms are there, Rogalakshana. In addition, the doctor will do a physical checkup. The doctor. Will do a physical checkup on the patient. 
the doctor will do a physical checkup on the patient based on that physical checkup the doctor will can identify other issues that the patient is having so based on this the doctor can then get a rough idea moolika roga vinishya meaning an initial disease diagnosis of what this patient likely has ugura amarwat tiyenawa kassat tiyenawa nan the doctor can tell this is not dengue hmm? this is most likely viral infection but if you have having a fever but no throat pain and maybe a rash the doctor will suspect it is dengue hmm? if you don't have a rash only fever doctor cannot tell exactly what it is so based on no evage suspicion ek anuwa the doctor will now be led along different pathways now if you have a fever with a sore throat the doctor fbc report ek uh, blood report he might he or she might ask but other than that uh, they won't be too suspicious but cough and anta then doctor will okay there's a possibility this is dengue because at this time dengue is quite common in sri lanka so then the doctor will order a dengue report or a dengue test see based on the sign and symptom the pathway that you are going you are getting two options are ah, you are going option 1 the option 2 the then for the doctor right now in addition they say the doctor mentioned there is also an increase in hand foot and mouth disease now we know there are other infections also and the problem is now they are saying hand foot and mouth now there there are some rashes white oval blisters to all the inal kakul wala okay however it is reported that some of these symptoms overlap overlap with that those of influenza influenza means it's a virus you can even make a fungus say this hand foot and mouth this is even the hand foot and mouth this is dengue influenza virus all of them they have a lot of symptoms that are common and it came on in the pulva see so then it's very difficult okay right? he also recommended blood test to rule out the possibility of dengue hmm? the dengue vector there's a separate test that you can do for dengue right okay so i i just wanted to give you an idea now there is another infection this was happening recently i think last week if i remember correctly so there is a meningococcal disease outbreak at army training school under control now so meningococcal is a this is a very dangerous one this is actually me there there are two types we have uh, meningococ cocal and pneumococcal these two are round shape bacteria uh, one is gram positive one is gram negative that is a classification of bacteria based on the bacteria cell wall okay. so the gram positive one has a thicker pep peptidoglycan layer gram negative one has thinner one meningococcal is a gram negative one cell wall like a thin uh it is actually caused by the uh, me uh, this one neisseria meningitidis that's a bacteria now why the why why are the now you even have vaccines for these two pneumococcal meningococcal kind of vaccine the why why are we focusing on these two diseases hmm? this is not 